Hey, how's it going? This is a quick video just to go over how to use the Venture online giving platform. So first of all, if you want to just go to VentureChurch.us, this will take us to our website. And then in the upper right hand corner, you can click the button that says give. This just takes us to our giving page on the website. And then right here, you'll see this widget here in white. And this is basically what gets us to the giving portal. So I can enter in whatever amount and then I can enter the frequency here. So I'll leave it a set to monthly, and then I can hit next. This is going to pull me over to our secure giving page and then it's going to ask me, do I want to continue with email or Facebook? I can do either, whichever is most convenient. In this case, I'll do continue with email. Now, I've already entered my email, but if you wanted to know how to sign up, we'll walk through this right here. Maybe you've already done that and you don't need help with that. And then you can actually go in the description of this video and move on to the next chapter and it'll show you how to do the next thing. But anyways, here's how we sign up. So let's say um, I want to sign up our email that we use for tech stuff and I say venture MT and I enter the email here and then I can choose a password. Okay, once I hit create account, it will tell me it sent a link to confirm the email address. So then I will just go into my email, find the link and be able to confirm that. Here is the email that I find. I just simply click the button and boom, yeah, I have now confirmed that. I'll only need to do that step once when I set up my email. Okay, next up, once I log in, the first time it'll ask me if I'd like to link a debit or credit card or if I'd like to link a bank account. Something we're encouraging people to do is link their bank accounts because every time I use a debit or credit card, the debit or credit card company will take out a larger fee. And so linking a bank account makes the most amount of money go towards venture or towards the offering we're giving as opposed to that other company. So once I do that, I can enter the name, the routing number, the account number and confirm that. And then once I do that, I'll be able to link that account. Once I've linked a bank account or a debit or credit card, I can simply change the amount that I want to give if I decide I want to do something different. Um, I can change the fund that it goes to and I can also change the frequency here. Um, lastly, there is a small fee that happen, that comes out of the gift in order just to cover the processing. So if I want, I can actually decide to cover that on our end and that way then it's not taken out on the church's end. Then once I do that, I can click give and it will can create a recurring giving in this case because I selected a monthly frequency or I could select a one time and it would just give once. Next up, we'll walk through how to edit recurring gifts and edit other things within your account. So back on the Venture Church website page, um, here I am at venturechurch.us slash give, or I just hit the give button to get here. I can notice in this widget, there's a little icon of a person in the upper right hand corner. If I click this, this will just prompt me to a place where I can sign in. So once I sign in, I can, in this case, in my case, continue with an email. And then I will have a few options. In the upper right hand corner, I can see the same icon. So here I could choose to give a certain amount or I can go up here and this is going to bring me to a menu where I have a few different options. Edit account is going to allow me to change things like my address and personal information. Gift history will show me where I've given before and the amounts and things like that. Payment methods is going to allow me to edit my debit, credit, or bank account um, numbers should I need to change those. Recurring gifts is going to be where I can see the recurring gifts that I've made. So earlier in this video, we actually set up a recurring gift and I can actually see where that is here. And then I can click on this and actually I can actually choose to edit this if I want to, or I can, I can either save or update or even delete that if I need to. So back on this menu, a couple other things is there is a uh, button that hits support. This is going to take you to the Subsplash company support, but I would just recommend if you run into any problems, just email us here at onlineadventurechurch.us or just give us a call at this phone number. And that way then someone from Venture can help you out even faster than Subsplash probably will be able to. Um, there are terms of use and then I can log out as well. And all of this is found within that menu that I, all I have to do is click that icon of the person, sign in, and then just do the same thing. Click that icon in the upper right hand corner, and then I can adjust whatever I need to. Well, thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you have any questions, email onlineadventurechurch.us or just give us a call at this phone number, which are located right on our giving page there on the website. Thanks a bunch.